The only thing to memorize when you're doing calibrations is that there are 3,785 mils in every gallon. When you come up to your pumps to know how many mils you've done over the course of an entire day, you can look at your pump feed rate, which in this instance we have 79.5 gallons per day. To find out how many mils that is in an actual day, you come over here, you do your 79.5, you're going to times that by the number I just told you, 3,785, which is how many mils there are in a minute, uh, in a gallon, and that's going to equal 300,000 907.5 mils that this pump should pump in an, ent in an entire day. Then you're going to divide that by how many hours there are, by how many hours there are in a day, and that's 24. That gives you how many mils you have per hour. You'll divide that by how many min minutes there are in an hour, which is 60, and that gives you how many mils you should consume in one minute. That's 208.96 mils per minute. So if we're going to calibrate this pump, we know that at 79.5, every minute it should suck 208.9 mils. We can't do that in the course of a minute because this calibration column only has 110 mils on it, or actually only just 100, there's not even the surplus. So it can only do 100, and that's 208.9. So we have to break this down into increments in a minute. There are four 15 second increments in one minute. So if we record our calibration for 15 seconds, we should get one fourth or a quarter of what 208.9 is. So if I divide, oops, let's just calibrate that out. 208.9 divided by four, because there are four 15 second increments, means I need to do 52.225 mils in 15 seconds. So when I come over to calibrate my pump, I'm gonna hit menu, I'm gonna go to mode, I'm gonna take it down to flow calibration, which is one click. I go into flow calibration. I know how many mils I need to hit in a minute is 208.9. So I'm gonna turn this RPMs down until the mils per minute are 208. You can click it a couple of times within each increment. So I'm gonna click it two, one, two, three times. So it's right below 209, 208.75 roughly. And then I'm gonna hit enter. And then I'm gonna be ready to start my timer. So what I'll do is I'll get my phone ready to get its timer going. I'll get its timer out. I'll set my timer down so I can hit start here and start here at the exact same time. When I'm ready to go and I've got my calibration column with water filled up exactly to that zero marker and these lines don't have any excess air on it so this pump is 100% ready to go. And there's no water bubbles or air bubbles that are gonna throw off my this being at zero. So once this is at zero and all of this is set up like this, then I'll hit start at the st and on both of these at the exact same time so that this will start sucking, this pump will start sucking from here. And after 15 seconds, I'll hit stop on my pump exactly at 15 seconds. Then I'll look at this and I'll see, did I do my 52.2 mils in that 15 second increment? If I did, then I'll continue to go through my pump and I'll confirm that it did 52, or it did the, the fourth fraction of what it actually says, which would be 208.9, I did my 52 mils, which is one fourth of that. I can confirm that. If that's not the case, then once I've gone through this setting and we've, well, we've started and we've got our pump finished and then we hit our stop to say, yeah, we've fi we finished our 15 seconds. I'll hit continue, you'll get to this screen. This screen said, here is our metered RPMs. This is our metered volume, we think you did 10.2 mils in that period of time and we just stopped it. And did you actually do 10.2? Well, if I come over here to this and we didn't actually do the amount that that was said, well then I can come back over here and I can adjust this up or down so that I did the, so I can put the actual mils that it did in place here. And then I'll hit enter and that number will show up here as this is how many mils per revolution we need to accept. Yes, accept that. So now you've calibrated your pump and you should be good to go. If it's off by a little bit, after you calibrate, it's always good to calibrate it a second, maybe even a third or fourth time to make sure you can get as accurate as possible. Once you've calibrated it once, you need to do it again to confirm that it actually got you within the ballpark that you wanted to. If it's off by a mil, depending on the feed rate, that can be acceptable. You just gotta do your best you can to get it as accurate as you can.